Hello, Chris Richter here again. We're going to look at Moodle 4.0. And in this case, I'm going to show you how you can add a block to a course, or actually two blocks to a course, that one of the blocks will only appear for teachers and one of them will only appear for students. And I'll show you how to set the permissions on those two blocks and then we'll check them and make sure that they work properly. Then I can go into some more detail after that. Let's have a little bit of a look at how this goes. Start by going into your course. So I'm using the demonstration self-enrollment course just because that's the one I decided to use. I go into edit mode and you can see there I've got add activities and resources, that's fine. Jump over to the right and open up the drawer. I'm using the standard Moodle 4.0 theme. It now has add block because I've got edit mode on. So I choose add block and I'm just going to add a text block. To keep it really simple, I'm going to add two text blocks. So I'm going to add block again, add the second text block. So I've got two. When I click on the config options for this one, so I'm going to do config on the top one, and I'm just going to say teachers only and put in here information for teachers in where to. Actually, we're not even going to worry about that. We're just going to go straight through. Save changes. Next one, configure the second block, and this will be students only, student only text. There we go, save changes. So I've got both of those in there. Now at the moment, if I went into a teacher or a student profile, so if I jump to a student now and look at the student page, you can see there we have teachers only, students only. So that's no good, it's appearing for everybody. So let's jump back to our main page, go into permissions. Now all I need to do here is remove the permissions in the view part for this block. So I'm using this text block and I'm going to take out in the view part take out class reading because that was for some other activity that I'll look at later. Authenticated user will take that out. Guest will take out. Student will take out. And because this is for either non-editing teachers or just normal teachers, I leave those two in there as the role permission. You also have a prohibit as well where you can set that, but we'll look at that maybe later. See how we go. Jump back to our course for our student one. We again click on it, go to permissions, jump straight in. We delete everything else except for student. So the only thing left will be student. Let's get rid of our teacher ones here. There we go. Get rid of our teacher, teacher, teacher. Jump back to our enrollment block. Now it still looks all the same. So that's all good. We don't need to worry about that for us because we're a course creator. So we can do this. I'm going to jump back to our teacher view, our student view first. Here is our student view. When I refresh it, you can see it says students only and we've got student only text. So that's only available to a student, which is exactly what we wanted. If I jump to a teacher view, let's refresh our teacher view and we can see there we have teacher only information for teachers and that way a teacher. Remember a teacher is enrolled as a teacher. So if I jump into our participation, you can see our teacher is enrolled as a non-editing teacher so they can see that, which is exactly what we wanted to be able to do on that because they're a non-editing teacher. If I change the enrollment for that teacher back to a teacher, we'll see if it still appears. So let me just do that. Go to teacher and I'm going to change that teacher to non-editing teacher to a teacher save that, jump back to our teacher view, refresh that. And because they're a teacher, it still shows in there that it is for teachers because our permission was teacher and non editing teacher for this panel, for this block. And the other one was student only. That's all we had to do. Quite simple. We've now converted our side block into being able to show teacher only information and student only information. Now, where would you use that? What would be the context of doing that? Well, you may have information in relation to this course that is only for teachers and you want it to be specifically for teachers to access and view. You can put those in there or there's extra icons, buttons, things that you need teachers to access and you want to give them a quick link to get to them. That's where you can put it. Also, if you have messages that are specifically for students and teachers don't need to see that, it's just getting in their way. You can have a students only one. You could actually enable the teachers to see the teacher only and the student only one if you needed them to know what the teachers are seeing as well. That would be the other option to doing that. Hopefully that's been useful to you. Uh, let me know if you've got any other questions or any things that you need to know about. I'll do my best to keep up with them. There is a lot, but hopefully that's been helpful. I'll talk to you again very soon, but don't forget, check out the courses. I've got lots of Moodle courses that can help you with all sorts of things. There's over seven hours worth of videos teaching you hundreds of things in how to use Moodle 4.0, as well as for those who are developers and want to learn how to develop plugins. I've got some courses there on that as well. So check out the links down the bottom. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you again, as I said, very soon.